Okay, this morning we're working an invent labiotrophus fullibarni. Susie's going to roll her eyes, but keep in mind that in Latin, a single I on the end of a name, basically what this name means is lip fish, tropius being a you know, genus of cichlids, and labio meaning lip, and it refers to the overbite that these fish have. Fullibarni, fullborn is the name of a person, I think. The I on the end is a possessive, so it's full of barns, labiotrophus. And the single I on the end of the Latin word is pronounced long E. If it's I, if it's two I's, it's pronounced E-I. Why? Who knows? That's what the Romans did. Okay, this is one of the few inventors that survived the Texas winter storm. First, we're going to look at females. The females of this strain are kind of an orangish gold color. Susie, you want to come up and film them? <laughs> okay. Now there's there's hard water scale on this aquarium, and I, one of these days I'm going to show y'all a really neat way of getting rid of that. Uh, you see the females have the Fulborni overbite, the Labiotrophus, the whole genus is like that. Uh, and this is a little bit better color I like in the females. In fact, the, I already put up the breeder females, and they're a brighter orange than that little one. Now, these are not breeder females. I'm going to put these back up. Then I'm going to show you a couple of other fish that came out of the breeding colony. These are non-golds. These are blue full of barnies. And what this means is the blue coloration is recessive to the gold coloration because all the breeders are golds. So I'm going to have to do some test crosses sometime to confirm that. But we got a few blues out of there, and that's because at least one of our males and one of our females carrying the recessives for blue. Okay, now we're going to look at the four finalist males. And I'm going to discuss this fish a little bit more. The, this is one of the early Lake Malawi cichlids that came in to the country. So they were established by the mid-70s. Fullibarni is a, a chunky fish with an overbite. And let's take a look. So this male is getting close. You know that the males are lavender. There are some gold males, but I like the lavender males. You see his overbite? Top lip. I'm going to keep him. I like his color and his overbite. We're going to pick one other male. I think I'm going to go with this little male. He's got a ding on his side, but that doesn't hurt anything. He's got an overbite, and he's lavender. So those are going to be our two breeder males. These two males will go to the sale vat. Kate, you want to get me a bucket of water and take these two males to, or I'll tell you what, you take these two to the breeding colony. And I'll take these two males to the sale vet. Okay, anyway, like I said, this is one of the few inventors that survived the Texas winter storm. We've finally gotten them up to uh, full production. We had a kind of small breeding colony, three males, 20 females, and we ended up getting over 200 offspring out of this breeding cycle, which is reasonable. We had these in a 110-gallon aquarium instead of a 300, not aquarium, a vat, instead of a 300-gallon. Okay, good fish keeping.